Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 38 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, before we check out Fane, after getting a nice bit of money, I think it's time to go and uh, update our equipment again. At least by whatever we can, all things considered. Don't think I'll be able to completely update it, but who knows. It would be nice to get that for size too, but you know what? I think he's alright with what he has. I definitely want to upgrade this though. Here you go, take off that mace. Getting some armor would definitely be valuable. Even though I'll only be able to buy like one set. Which sucks, but what can you do, right? Actually, I think now I have enough items to possibly get that, uh, new skill from, uh, from Stoll. So before I go to Fane, why don't I go check that out? Let me count how many I have, though. 55 plus 31 is 86. 86 plus 12 is 98. 98 plus 31 is 129? So I'm definitely above 120. So with that, we'll go to the hideout right away. It'll just be nice to have that skill. And then once we don't need to uh, maximize our inventory, we could probably sell a lot of crap. I guess you're ready to learn my other trick. Coward's Way? What is that? Damage increased by number of retreats? That seems pretty cool. Why don't I give it to Urshan, but I don't know how much AP it has. I should I tell you? Two. Whoa! I don't think you'd be able to get this much stuff. Taint nothing more I can show you. You know all my tricks now. You'll make a good thief. Okay, so we actually got his last skill. That's really good. So we have no obligation to hold on to like old pieces of equipment anymore. Unless they can be used as items. That should uh, help us out financially. So I think we'll not worry about that for now and head straight for Fane. The Fane and the Fortune, am I right? There's still a guy in the way. I wonder if he'll move now. Oh god. Everywhere I go, blue ball's always out for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll just use my frost strike to allow one of them to give me more experience. Wait, if I hit one with frost strike and make the water freeze, will fire blast thought? Let's find out. Actually, I don't think it matters because that one's dead. But it didn't say anything about thawing, so I think I still get the extra experience. Hey, a water seed. Don't mind if I do. What? You want the blessing of the god of the sea? So you can become sailors yourselves? Well then, that's a different story now, isn't it? Go on ahead. Thanks, bub. Get get your neck checked out. It's just hunching over. Alright, Nina, what's over that way? I think that allows us to keep going if I go here. But what if I go over there? Let me grab this first. Ammonia. 
Okay, fair enough. And more of these guys again. These players don't stand a chance. Oh yeah, this Claymore is actually really good. Already paying immediate dividends. Magna! Nice. I found it cool that both of them took 12-12 damage. I don't know if that's actually intended. <laughs> but I think it's time to go grab that chest. Which path should I take to get to it? Probably this one over here. Yep, there we go. Five hangers. Nice. Get more hangers than Air Force One, I'm telling ya. Oh my god, what is that? That looks like something from Qbert. Bad coil. When with Mud Pup, it uses sleep and command. Why, though? That looks so odd. What are they? Let's see if I can get a good combo score with these three moves. I'm pretty sure they won't survive after Magma Blast. Uh, maybe the uh, Bad Coil will. Unless it's super weak against fire. Look at that face! That lived. Oh, it ended the combo. What does Fairy Breath even do? Whatever else it's supposed to do, it missed. So I wonder if it has another ability that I don't know about. But it only healed for like a very low amount of HP. Even though it healed everybody, that wasn't very good. Unless it can get stronger later. Okay, there's a cave over there. And dead end over there. Okay, that makes my decision a little bit easier. I want to go this way. Anything else here? Nope, I guess I just fall down the hole. Where do I examine this? Oh god, there's a new enemy. Baller. Extremely deadly when with its partner, Rollob. Okay, uses wind magic. So I guess Earth would be pretty good to use here. Oh, I got shield, by the way. Which is really good because it raises the defense of all targets. Should focus my fire on one so I can kill it. I, I like its staff too, or maybe it's a spear. Because the because the pointy end's a conch shell. That's actually really cute. Even if it is deadly. Why does it look like it's a dong flailing around whenever it gets hit by that move? That is just lame. There, now you're dead. Okay, it didn't drop an item for me, that sucks. Hmm. I don't know what it does. Maybe this is not the way to go? How do you make an offering, then? It didn't give me an option to, like, just throw something. Am I supposed to go somewhere else? 
Oh, wait a minute. Should I have talked to that guy again? Or, or... Am I supposed to go down this ramp? Yeah, I overlooked this. Alright, let's try going in this cave. I think something is supposed to happen from this side. Which requires me to go back later. This looks like an, a lip, doesn't it? What if I step on it, though? Nothing happens. Maybe something will happen once I get to the end of this cave. Oh, here we go. It's got its partner now. Oh, you can get a weather wand from this guy if you're lucky. Uses water magic. Alright, well, let's go with the same strategy. Rock Blast. Magma Blast. Well, Magma Blast is the resulting move. What can you do to help out? Fairy Breath probably is out of the question. I don't think we need to use any of our breath attacks. That would be a bit overkill. Okay, one of them is dead, so that makes my life a little bit easier. Are they able to use combo magic too? Cause I mean, wind and water... That can be pretty devastating. They are able to use combo magic. Oh god, now I gotta pick a cave. Not good at making decisions. Oh, never mind. A wetsuit? Is that armor? It is armor. Resist water attacks. At this point, I think I should give it to you. And that doesn't really offer anything special. Okay. So I'm not losing any advantages from the armor. The amber breastplate. Oh god, here's another new enemy. A mask crab. Gets stronger and uses different magic as combat goes on? Oh. I think that's the game's way of saying you should eliminate it quickly. Quickly. But I think I'm gonna get rid of this roll up first. I missed. Oh, that sucks. You don't need to use blind on me. I'm already inaccurate. <laughs> okay, so a turn has passed. I'm guessing it's gonna use a more powerful spell. If it uses magic at all. I wonder if you get a lot of experience if you just extend the fight. Even though you put yourself at greater risk of possibly getting annihilated. Depending on what spells this guy can use. Ursula definitely needs more HP. Do I have a master on her that gives her more HP? I don't know. Ah, the wave stone! Is it a safe idea to just grab some treasure and leave? I mean, I've seen how Aladdin works. <laughs> we don't have a magic carpet to go avoid, like, a tidal wave of possibly water. I'm just saying. We are probably not equipped to survive. Oh, I'm not going to get a combo out of this, unfortunately. Just because. At least one of them is dead. 
Survived enough to use Ice Blast. Good thing you put on that wetsuit, am I right? A wetsuit will prevent you from taking extra damage to being impaled by ice. Huh. That makes sense. It's like Kevlar, but only for icicles. Okay, so this wave stone, I think I know where it goes. You threw the wave stone into the water. Oh, I think now I need to go to that previous cave that had the hole. Yeah, I figured it just made a bit of sense to just flee. So, Coward's Way. Does that only gain one attack power for every time I run? So if you ran, like, over a thousand times, could this become one of the most powerful attacks in the game? And if so, how many targets can it hit at once? Hi. So, we meet again, young Yore Dragon. We are Hei Ryong, one of the dragons of old. So the god of the sea is just an avatar of one of the dragons? Forsooth. Though our powers be faded with time. There are many of us who are glorified as deities still. Um, we came here because we, um, need a ship. Thou seekest my blessing? Very well, thou shalt have it. Once thou walk the whale road, seek us out. We shall give you another blessing then, young dragon. We dwell in the wild, deep places. Those protected by hard rock and stone. Bend your sails there, and thou shalt find us. A salt stone? You can show this to the sailors as proof you've received the Sea God's blessing. Oh, so now we can actually go back to town and get the rights to a ship. I picture that was just a bunch of enemies just waiting out there to say, like, he's gonna come out eventually. Sure enough, they were right. Okay, I just wanted to get out of there. Too bad there wasn't, a, like, a spell you can use to just teleport out of here. Like a warp spell. That'll make things a little bit more convenient. Uh, that guy was not looking forward to talking to me at all. So I guess we'll just have to fight then. Uh, I'm not letting you get away with smacking me around. It's just not happening. Uh, it's your funeral. Wow! Taking off that Artemis cap might be, uh, giving me a bit of a disadvantage here. Not really liking my chances here. I don't know if that's, like, the effect of the Claymore. Like, it doesn't tell you if a weapon is going to be less accurate. Accuracy is probably just one of those hidden stats, I believe. Oh, I forgot to talk to you. There's an old superstition that says, if you go to sea without the Sea God's blessing, the journey will end in disaster. Well, we don't have to worry about that now, will we? I figured a map would probably be more important. But that's just me.
Also, because we had a few fights, I can probably buy some more stuff now. What you get for me? Uh, yeah, buy another brigandine. And you know what? Why don't we give it to... Gray? And I can probably start selling some of this old equipment. Like, if it has any special effects, I probably will keep it. Otherwise, no. Let's find the user's wisdom. Log I don't think that's worth keeping. Flame punch. Get rid of the red knuckles. Earth claws and get rid of as well. Grandma Sacks can go. Cat's Bulger can go. Get rid of the scatter shot too. Range attack versus all. I mean, it's good for hitting everybody, but its attack power is not high enough. There, that's actually a little bit better. And size, you get some armor now. Don't want you feeling completely left out. I should get you this claymore as well. Alright, everybody's good to go. To the pub we go. And then we can go sailing. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I'm an idiot. Alright, let me go back into town. I walked a little too far. Now, hopefully they'll be a little bit more accepting of me. Wait a minute, why did I go in this building? Where I went shopping was the right spot the whole time. I'm, I'm the dumb. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> then again, this town is so small. Like, compared to Sinesta, Sinesta was a freaking labyrinth. Here, I'm almost lost, but it's so small. Let me talk to you. What? You say you went to the Fane of the Sea God? Well, I'll be. This is a salt stone. If you have this... It means that God of the Sea must have appeared to you. This must be an omen. A sign of the God of the Sea's wishes. Alright then. Who might argue with the God of the Sea? You can come with us on our ship if you want. Yay. Just try not to kiss me. I don't want to be eaten alive. Whoa! Wait just a minute there. Don't tell me these ladies here are coming too! What's it to you? Why wouldn't they? You got a problem with that? Yeah, I do. We can't let women on board our ship. It's an old sailor's rule. No women. It's bad luck. How is it bad luck? So, I'm sorry. But you'll just have to wait here. Um, but... Isn't there anything we can do? I mean, we've been through a lot just to get here. No matter how bad it might be, I'm sure we can handle it. Nope, not a chance. Look, it's nothing personal, but sailing is a man's job. Wow! A sailor needs to be brave, determined, and strong. Exactly! Phew! Haha! <laughs> we meet again, eh? After you defeated me the second time, I wandered the world until I came here. Where I became a sailor. A sailor is a man's man. It's not a job for the weak. 
Only a real man can become a sailor. Now I'm going to show you exactly what a real man can do. You friends of his or something? He came here a little while ago. I gave him a job cleaning the ship. Hey! You there! You were just talking about how a sailor has to be strong. If we take him out, will that be proof enough that we're strong? Huh? Um, uh... Grr! Did you shoot him in the mouth? Well? Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. See, I'm talking about more like physical strength. Like, what if we run into pirates? And you have to fight while on the mast or something? Think he can do that? Um, alright. I'll do it. Is this a mini game or something? Well? How do you like being so high up? Um, I have wings. Pretty scary, isn't it? You can still quit if you want to. The view from here is wonderful. Don't you think so? Oh, I forgot. We're here to fight, aren't we? I'm ready anytime you are, Mr. Iggy. May the best ma er person win. Oh, Nina, so nice of you being gender neutral. <laughs> you win if you can push Iggy off the mask before time runs out. Press the X button to jump. If you jump on his head, it will stun him for a moment. Use the square button to build up speed to ram him. Um... Hey. Uh-oh. Haha, uh -huh, you missed. Oh, wow. Oh, I get as many tries as I want? Oh, you can actually fall off yourself? Hey, come over. Come over. Come on. Wonder how long you would stay stunned anyway. Oh wow, I'm really shitting the bed on this one. Okay, he doesn't stay stunned for very long. Wait, if I ram into him, he's able to do that? What? Oh, come on. That does not seem fair. Is it because I was just facing that way? Okay, my timing is just off. Oh, boy. I really suck at this. And the worst thing is, I had an opportunity to beat him. Oh, but I can't change my direction in mid-air. That's what makes it worse. If I was facing the other way, I probably could have done it. Um, did that just pause me in mid-air? There, you see? Give it up, girl. You're just wasting your time. I want to try again. Do I have to do this for, like, every opponent, or is it just Iggy? Oh, no, I didn't want to read it again. Why does yes have to be default? See, that's the part I hate. And you have to recover, too. He always knows when you're gonna do that. What? 
I rammed him, and yet somehow he hit me? <sighs> that does not make any sense! He was stunned, and yet somehow he gets me. What? Oh, this could do it. Yeah. Huh, no time bonus. Huh. I guess they expect you to do it really fast to get points. Um, okay, okay. You made your point. I can see how strong you are. But I still don't think you can handle the open sea. I mean, you don't know what it's like. Then show us. We'll do anything. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Well, if you say so. I know a way I can show you what it's like on a ship. But I'm warning you, it ain't pretty. Don't say I didn't warn you. Alright then. Come talk to me when you think you're ready. I'd quit now if I was you, though. Yeah, but you're not me, because... You don't have nice hair. <laughs> you just have brows. And big lips. Alright, I'm gonna go check on the fairies. Because I may not get to for a while if I'm gonna go out on a ship. I wonder how they're doing. Message on the board. Let's take a look. Ooh, there's a lot. Uh, not very smart, but HP looks good. Job not. Ooh, new weapons. Oh my god. Ailey looks awful! 17, 3, 40? It's crap! That's available. Troops level went up. Huh. Does anyone read these? I do. Who do you think takes them off? I should have got the weapon store first. Sage's frock. Ooh, that could actually be pretty good. Wing boots might also be good. Titan's boots. Oh, wow. These are actually nice choices. What do you have? Nothing special. Okay, fair enough. I still gotta get used to where everything is. I don't have anybody manning that house? Wow. Oh, culture is at max now. Alright. You know what? I'll have you on hunting as well. You're not doing anything special. Why don't I put you... I guess I can put you on Orum. What if I have two people there? Does that make a difference? Does it do anything special is what I'm wondering. Well, you're just the item shop. Nah, I'm good. Thanks for the offer, I guess. Because, you know, you want my money. What is the price of Orm right now? 90 cents? Or 90 zennies? That's actually a pretty good value. It looks like prices are going to go up. Oh, okay, so another fairy there will just tell you, like, what's likely to happen. Okay, fair enough. I don't have anybody manning that house either. Sure, I'll rest. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's 
So, just having somebody else on Orm is not really that special. So I'll probably pick the lowest one. And I think I'm gonna put you... on Explorers. Don't know if that'll make much of a difference. Actually, let me put you... Yeah, I'll keep you on Explorers for now. Once I can finally get better fairies, then I'll be able to take it from there. I don't know when that will be. Hopefully soon. Because some of them are just like, really low stats. It's breaking my heart. I'm sure there are lots of traditions and all. But you'd think they'd let us on without going to all this trouble. I don't care what we had to do. We need to get on that ship! Dea says, The shrine to the god of the sea is just another example of how the ancient dragons are worshipped as gods. Yeah, I'm noticing that. The ocean's really salty. You're not supposed to drink it, Sias. Wait, where'd Ursula go? Oh, there she is. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry, I won't try to steal the ship. I mean, we wouldn't be able to sail it by ourselves anyway. Fair enough. Um, I think I'm going to stop here, and in the next part, we'll um, go sailing. See you, everyone.